Jesus and then are using our time unwisely. See, I want to give you some illustrations of that and some principles that we can safeguard. So here's the principle. Take care in the walk of life. The book of Ephesians describes life as a walk. I know the Australians talk about a walkabout. You know, coming to the Aborigines who encouraged their youth at the age of 13 to take six months on a walk in the wilderness as they might have passed it. And, and there they were to learn the secrets of survival and how to become a man. Now this idea, however, came to take upon itself a popular connotation of simply dropping out of life in a period of time and simply going for a walk, a travel. Go wherever you want, follow your feet, without any obligation of ending up anywhere. And for some of us, you know, if you're honest with yourself, that's what you want out of life. To be carefree. You know, you want to have enough money to do living in life, plan, simply acting spontaneously, following your feet wherever they lead. You know, only I can do that some of us. And there are a great many people who will review their retirement that way. Let me promise you something. Freedom, as that term is used, is not the biblical use of freedom. In the Bible, freedom means freedom from the bondage of the flesh, so that you are free now to pursue the will of God. Prior to that, you never had that freedom. In contrast, freedom for retirement companies means freedom from work commitment, free to pursue any dream that you have had, and you could not do that dream because of financial restraint. And to do that as early as we can, before we get too old to enjoy beaches and sailboats and And for some of us, that's what occupies our thinking. Listen to Paul again. He says in Ephesians 5, 16, make the best use of your time. See, it would be easy for me at this point to, to simply say, well, we all have 24 hours in a day. And then talk about time that we use for sleep and eating and commuting and working and watching TV and, and all the stuff that makes up our day. And I, and I suppose that would make a fairly good application, but I noticed something different about this text. There are, in fact, two different Greek words for the use, or for the word chronos. And from it we get our word chronology. The word means that we have a day timer. We fill up the moments of our day. But that's not the word that Paul uses here. The word he uses is the word kairos. Another way of translating kairos is as occasion or opportunity. 